Hello to everyone, this is Mind Mastery, and today we want to take you on a journey of manifestation, mindfulness, and a better future. This video is for you if you're prepared to discover the mysteries of your mind and body and finally make good changes in your life. To ensure you don't miss any of our groundbreaking content, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell before we start. Now let's begin. You have to feel powerful in order for success to find you, and you have to feel wealthy in order for money to come to you. People will say to us, well, in that unknown, I can't predict my destiny or my future. And we always tell them the same thing. The best way to predict your future is to build it, not from the known, but from the unknown. And the magic only happens when you and I are comfortable in the unknown. It never happens in the known. So you were here as a businessman this week. If you look up the definition of businessmen, you'll find that all of them have one thing in common. People who are ready to take risks, step into the unknown, and are defined by their vision of the future instead of their memories of the past. So if you don't have a clear picture of what you want to do by the end of this week, all of this information is just philosophy, theory, and intellectual data imprinted in your thinking brain. But there will be some people in this room who will use this information, personalize and personalize it. Those who learn the information and store it in their brains so they can repeat it. Those who start thinking about what they're going to do with it as they start to think about what they're going to do with it. They begin to install the neurological hardware in their brains, priming them for a new future. When you think, how am I going to use all of this information in my life? You'll have a new experience if you listen to great leaders, get specific information about success, and start applying what you've learned about motion, emotional intelligence, and changing the culture of your life. That new experience will make your brain circuit stronger because that's what experience does. Then you'll feel like a superstar, like you're doing well and like you're making sense. And as soon as you feel that feeling, you are telling your body chemically what your mind has already learned intellectually. We could say that knowledge is for the mind and experience is for the body. At that time, you are a leader, a successful person, and a person with clear thoughts. Why? Because emotion is a chemical representation of the experience. And when you feel an emotion, you are training your body chemically to understand what your mind has already understood intellectually. You are putting knowledge into your body. But now it's time for the expert. If you've done something once, you have to be able to do it again, and great determined people in the world keep working to do it again. And if you can make that experience happen again and again, both neurologically and biologically, you will train your body to act like it's the mind. Now, it will come naturally to you. It will be second nature. It will be easy. It will be something you do often. It will be second nature. You've done it so often that it's become a part of who you are. So our jobs are to move from philosopher to initiate to master, from mind to body to soul, from knowledge to experience to understanding, and from thinking to doing to being, and you and I have all the brain and body parts we need to do this. However, some people will learn all this information, but they'll only think about it and never use it. People who use it once and have the experience will think that it defines them. But the real leaders of the world are the ones who really embrace it and make it a part of them. They don't need to think about being leaders because they already are. They don't have to think about success because it's already a part of them. If you give people good knowledge and then ask them to repeat it, they will store it in their brains and create a new way of understanding things. If you show them how to put that learning to use and if they do it right, they will change in some way. People don't feel bad or unworthy when they go through this change. Instead, it opens their minds, makes them feel joy and gratitude, and changes how they feel. And if you can make people feel this way and teach them more, they will continue to change, which is called development. So most people try to create a new personal reality with the same personality, but that doesn't work. You actually have to become someone else. So to get from your old self to your new self, you have to cross the river of change and step into the unknown. And if you're now in the unknown and feel uncomfortable because you're leaving guilt and unworthiness behind, you see, the biggest problem with most people is that they want to make money but feel like they don't have enough. They want a new life but feel like they don't deserve it. This is the mind and body working against each other. And our study shows that you can teach people how to recondition their body to a new mind. When this happens, they start to make very powerful things happen in their lives. 
Most societies have a choice at this point. To make a new culture, you have to describe it as a vision of the future. However, most people's cultures are based on the past and the way things are right now. What's the meaning of that? We live in a world that is always changing and most people can't keep up. And if you stay stuck in the past, you won't be able to keep up with this culture because we are making a world culture. So what defines them is a clear aim, a clear goal, along with a strong emotion. And when you combine a clear purpose, like a vision of the future, with a high emotion, like inspiration or joy, you make a person who is more powerful. But here's the problem. For a consumer who is waiting for money to make them feel rich, those things are already in the past. The person who is looking for success to make them feel powerful has already had it. The past is where the person who is looking for healing to feel whole is. If someone is waiting for money to make them feel grateful, those things are already in their past. They only care about things. In other words, you have to feel strong in order for success to come to you. You have to feel rich in order for money to come to you. You have to be grateful in order to make the life you want. And by teaching your body mentally what that future could feel like before it happens, you are changing your biology because most people wait for something outside of them to change how they feel inside. And when something outside of them makes them feel differently inside, they pay attention to who or what made them feel that way and make a record of it. That's the old model of reality where you wait for something outside of you to make you feel better on the inside. The new model of reality is about making an impact. That means you have to feel grateful every day for your new experience to happen. You can't wait for success to feel empowered. You have to feel empowered to make success. And when you show people how to do this and they move into a new state of being, they start making the life they want. But they would say to materialists, well, no, I'm going to wait for my money and when it comes, I'll be thankful. Those people pretty much live on the feelings they had in the past. And if you live based on how you felt in the past, you'll see the future through the mirror of the past, which will make it hard to see. Because if you bring up a strong feeling, you will be able to see the picture clearly. As we conclude this transformative discussion, let's recap the key takeaways. The essence of our message is that the power to shape your future lies within you, not in external circumstances. You must feel empowered and wealthy within yourself for success and abundance to manifest in your life. This is not just a philosophical concept, it's a neurological and biological reality. When you internalize this knowledge and apply it, you essentially rewire your brain and body to align with your vision of the future, not your memories of the past. The real leaders and visionaries are those who don't just absorb this information, but make it a part of their being. They don't wait for external validation. They create their reality from a place of internal empowerment. This is the new model of reality, one that is proactive rather than reactive. It's about feeling grateful and empowered now, not after you've achieved your goals. So don't wait for success to feel powerful or for wealth to feel rich. Feel those emotions now and let them guide you into the future you desire. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If this resonates with you, remember the best way to predict your future is to create it, feel it within, and it will manifest without.